Pecha Kucha is a presentation style where the presenter delivers 20 slides, 20 seconds apiece, for a total presentation of 6 minutes and 40 seconds. This tutorial will show you how to record a Pecha Kucha presentation using VoiceThread. You'll see I've already added my 20 slides and I've included images in the first few. There are two ways that you can record a Pecha Kucha presentation in VoiceThread. One is to record the entire 6 minutes and 40 seconds in one fell swoop. The second is to record slide by slide. Let's look at the first method. While in the Create area, I'm going to go to Options in the upper right hand corner and choose Playback Settings. From here, we'll choose Pecha Kucha at the bottom. You'll see when I do that, it chooses to limit each comment to 6 minutes and 40 seconds and when recording, go to the next slide every 20 seconds. From here, I'll choose Save. Now it's time to record our comments. So I'll click on Comment here at the top and I'll click my Record button. And as you see, while I'm speaking, in the lower right hand corner, my clock is counting down 20 seconds. This keeps me posted on how much time I have to record each slide. On the left, you'll notice that I have a total of 6 minutes and 40 seconds for the entire presentation. It's now advanced to the next slide and I'm just going to continue to record each slide 20 seconds at a time all the way until the end. The pro of this is that the timing is all set and everything works smoothly and I get a more natural flow like I would in a presentation. The con, however, is that if I make a mistake, I do have to start all over at the very beginning. I'm going to click Stop Recording. The next method is going to allow me to record each slide individually. So if I make a mistake, I only have to re-record that specific slide. Again, we're going to start in Options and Playback Settings. We're still going to use Pecha Kucha, but this time I'm going to want to limit each comment to only 20 seconds. Now this isn't allowing me to do that, so in order to do it, I need to uncheck and recheck this box. And I'll choose zero here for my minutes and 20 seconds per comment. Again, Pecha Kucha is not gonna be checked in this instance because I've already made a change from standard Pecha Kucha, so don't worry about that. Here I'll click Save. Now we're gonna go into Comment. Again, I'm going to click on my microphone. And this time you'll notice that both the left number and the right number indicate 20 seconds. One is counting up, one is counting down. Soon as this 20 seconds is over, what it's going to do is appear to advance, but then it's going to come back to this slide and save my recording. Here you see it's uploading. And this time you'll notice that, and now I can click save. And I'll advance to my next slide. Again, clicking the plus, And again, following the same manner that I did before, where each slide only allows me to have 20 seconds to deliver it. All right, I'm just gonna click stop recording here and close. One last thing you'll do before sharing this with your class or whomever. Under Options, again, we're going to go to Playback Settings. And here we want to choose, and this is in both methods, to automatically advance the slide 20 seconds. What this does is it prevents your viewer from having to click the Next Slide button. It's just going to flow every 20 seconds. It's just automatically going to change the slides for them. And it'll play more like a video than an actual presentation where they have to manually advance. And that is how you can create a Pecha Kucha presentation using VoiceThread.